So there's a video of Elena Psin actually uh, fighting with a male figure and her parents are there, both the mother and father are there and, and they are present. And um, actually in the video, a guy is seen talking to a woman, which of they say that is a principal. And um, the guy is actually the husband of the principal. So now this whole thing came down after... They they say that um actually it is alleged that uh the school said that Elena must go and take off the drag locks of the head because now um they're actually saying in their policy they welcome natural hair only no extensions so now they're saying that they actually recognizing the drag locks as ex extension because now they're saying that it's not a natural hair so now. People right now are standing up and saying that they are tired of this, of this whole thing. First, it was clicks uh, talking about our hair, and now is uh, the school that is talking about this hair that it, actually the direct loads is not a uh, natural hair. So now people are like, uh, why would they say it's not natural? Because now when you're doing uh, direct looks, actually you're doing them from your natural hair. You don't relax your hair. You don't put extensions. So now what are they talking about actually? So now um, this whole thing actually is an issue right now. And um, if our... Uh, we're talking about the Department of Education. They did come out uh, with a spokesperson saying that actually they condemn the whole thing that has happened. As the department, they don't recognize the school because the school is not actually registered with the government, but they will assist the school to uh, register with the government, right? So now... um, They're actually saying that um, the learner, they're going to help uh, the learner to catch up with the work and they still going to assist her in looking for a new school. And mind you, this is a 13-year-old um, girl. Already at 13, you are a girl. I mean, you just started in your teen years already. Can we imagine the self-esteem that she's sitting with right now? And already without anything that is some drama some sort that is like this already there was there was issues at 13 that's the age where you actually recognize your body where you see that you actually developing this and that already you are insecure right um uh, and now something like this comes and then it just crushes you. Can you imagine what's going on in her head right now? And um, I mean, the way that she she, she is actually carrying this um age that she's in right now, it's actually um crushing for her to experience such a thing. Actually, I've been told that um she's gonna miss out on school, such a big thing, a school. You know, you're going to miss out on school because of the hair that you're wearing. I mean, you know, it just doesn't make sense in her head right now. It's just like, she, she just feels like the whole world is is actually crashing down on her. And um, there are policies at school, right, and guidelines. Um, I mean, I don't think that... She actually, that time when they were writing the WhatsApp to the parents saying that uh, we realized that um, you are not uh, actually uh, matching with the code conduct of the school. Uh, the learner is coming with um, the hair that we don't accept. Uh, I wouldn't think that that thing just happened overnight. If it happened overnight, then that's why these parents are acting like this. Because now, going drag logs, that length that she's having actually takes a long time. Where were they when she was starting the whole thing of drag logs, actually? Um, did they even write that when the drag logs were still small, did they write to them that we don't want these drag logs and they carried on? Or it was just a matter of um, they kept quiet, thinking that, okay, maybe one day she'll remove them. Finally, they got tired of this whole situation and then they attacked. Now, if you've seen the video, I did put it in the shorts. If you want to 
check it out. You can check it out. And if you see the shots, there was so unnecessary movement that was happening. Number one, why would um, so-called um, principal's husband pushing Elena and the mother out of the class? I mean, they were still going to go out anyway. Um, if it was another race, would they still be treated the same way? Or it was going to be, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 I understand this, that, and then they take them out or what, you know? So now this whole thing, it just raises concern. Is it a racial thing or it was just, um, just happened that this family was treated like this? Because now... Even the father, she, he's just standing there with the principal. He's saying whatever is on his chest, that uh, the principal is racist, the school is so racist and all that. And the principal, you can see that she she's actually um, handling this situation calmly, unlike the husband, uh, which of uh, he's there pushing the woman and, um, and this um, teenager. So now... Um, this whole thing, how did it all transpire? Did they go to school being called that I uh, come and fetch so and so from school because of the dirt clothes? Or it was something like she was chased out and then she is the one who actually happened to call the parents, you know, saying that I've, I'm being attacked, come and pick me up or whatever. I just don't understand this whole thing that was happening there. And and then um this part of saying that um they just have to quit the school. I mean she has to quit the school right now, which of this school is not accepting her because now it shows that she won't get rid of the dreadlocks. As far as she's not getting rid of the dreadlocks, and they are saying that they won't have her there at school at all. So she must choose it's either she takes off the dreadlocks or she moves from the school, which of we can see that she has chosen to be out of school, actually. Uh, hence, the department also is saying that they're going to want um, the school for her. Anyway, if she was choosing to stay, or the parents were saying that she must stay at school, already the relationship there is already compromised because now already um, the way that this whole thing went on, the parents were fighting uh, with the um, so-called husband of the principal. Um Already, she, she she wouldn't have a place to stay, actually, you know. So this whole thing, right now, we are in August already. Um, so now we're saying that uh, she has to go and look for another school. Is it for next year or is it still for this year? If it's for this year, already her education is being compromised. Um, I mean, if, let's say, for instance, she's been taught sitting in a classroom, now she's going to do the visual uh, learning or she's going to do the um, homeschooling. I mean, she, there's no time to catch up in this whole thing because now this whole thing, mentally, you need to be prepared that, okay, this whole thing is changing. I'm changing from um, going to school. Now I'm at home. Things are going to change. The system of being homeschooling is not the same as taking your books and then going to school, you know. So this whole thing is just um, a drama, actually, that is happening. Uh, and her future actually is compromised on this whole thing because now we won't expect her to just um, move with new people in August already uh, and think that everything will be fine, she'll catch up and things will be okay. It's not okay at all. Anyway, the EFF was alleged there on the scene um, banning the banners of the school actually because now we know that when we're talking about racial matters in this uh, South Africa most of um, people that are actually standing up to come and fight the people's rights and stuff like that is EFF so they did come out this time also and saying that they condemn this whole thing and then they're trying to make a chaos at school to show that nothing is normal it's not business as usual this thing of us saying that it's business as usual we don't want it we won't accept it so now we have to see that one one learner has been touched you know 
she has been touched. So now it cannot be a uh, business as usual. It cannot be that um, other learners are just going to go to the class and carry on, you know. So now other people are actually even saying that they don't understand this whole thing that is being done by EFF. Others do understand. Um, not unless you, you've you had something that um, you need someone to come and um, being a meditator inside or talking for your side or whatever, then you won't understand what's really going on in this whole thing. Because now she really, uh, as I'm saying that, um, it cannot be business as usual at, in that school after this whole thing that has happened to her, you know. So now uh, they were there actually supporting and saying that we saw what happened, we heard what happened, so now we cannot just carry on as normal. Anyway, we are still um, in celebration. We were just celebrating Madiba um, month, last month. It's not even uh, two months, you know. Already we are experiencing something like that. A, a person who's been fighting for this whole thing of um, racial issues and stuff like that, who is um, Mandela, and we, we thought that things are fine, and they are not fine at all. If you are still being told about your, your hair, or you've been told that your hair texture is this and that. So now, there's still a long way to go. Regardless, what do they say about their policy? Anyway, mind you, this is a Christian school, Christian school, even if it was in the red logs, already we will be sitting in some sort of hot seat because now in Christian schools, they don't operate normal as um, the normal school because now they want to show that pride and that um, thing that they actually, the, um, the Christian school. So they have to be different somehow. So you can't expect anything that is normal there. Now, um, still talking about this uh, celebration of Madiba Day last month, we, we, we are just in the days of just passing of, um, we just finished uh, Women's Day and this whole thing happens to a baby girl, I mean, you know, her, her mother was pushed also, you know, this whole thing is just not well because now it's not fine because the, there's a woman who's been assaulted and there's a girl that has been assaulted. Already these people, they just finished um, celebrating Women's Day. What Women's Day were they celebrating? What is there to celebrate so much if we are still enduring such things right now in the country, you know? So now... um. This whole thing is still an issue, and I don't think it will just be a bag squashed and that's it. Um, not unless uh, that there's some sort of solution that's going to happen in this whole thing that we hear that uh, something has happened. Anyway, uh, this part of um, there's an, an assault case that has um assault case that has been opened nobody has been arrested so far but the case has been opened so now uh, we don't know if uh, this whole thing will go forward or where will it lead but um this thing of that school i don't think people just um fold their hands and just move on like that i i doubt it i doubt it mostly because we are in this month that we are in we're just celebrating this woman independence and stuff like that but something like this is still happening under our nose okay we'll see you next time just say uh what do you think what's your take about this whole story that is happening right now we'll see you next time bye